Hi, hello everyone. Many people often confuse between which IRCC account is for you to apply for immigration purposes. For example, visitor visa, express entry, study permit, work permit, and another applications. For example, study extensions, immigration or uh, citizenship, and more. So in today's video, I'm going to explain um, the two different accounts with the IRCC that we often use and confuse. The first one is IRCC secured account, or we can see that as GC key or partner, uh, sign in partner. And the second one is IRCC portal, as you can see down here. Okay, so uh, let's take a closer look at each account to see which program is for you uh, and how to use that properly. Okay, so first one, I will click on the IRCC secured account first. So here is the IRCC secure account. Before you do it, you have to check if this one is for you by clicking on the apply for these applications. So if, uh, if your um, niece is applying for work permits or expert entry or international experience Canada or extending work and study permits, visit the records, change your school, change conditions on your work permit, Canadian Citizenship Certificate and Shirts for Citizenship Record or Temporary Health Benefit for Refugee and Protected Persons. So for those of those applications, if you are in those, and then this one is for you. However, if your application isn't listed above like this, and then uh, you need to review your program content to get the instructions of how to apply. Okay, uh, and then in here, the sign in and create an account. Signed in, it means that if you have an account already, then uh, you are uh, welcome to click in this GC key, username and password, or maybe you can use the Canadians Interact Sign In Partner. Okay, by the sign in GC key, uh, you need to put your username and password in here and then you sign in, uh, or maybe you can use the uh, Canadians pa Partner Sign In by using one of your bank account okay just click in here for example i use td and then you can uh, put your username with the uh, uh, td bank and then password in here <coughs> okay however if you are new to this um uh, account then you will need to create an account with the ircc um by this register for an account okay uh, the option one is by GC key and the option two is by banking. So Canadian Interact Sign Partner. But to make it easier for all, I'm going to use option one that is GC key because uh, it doesn't need your banking information for account creations. Okay, so let's start it in here. Register with a GC key username and password. So here is the page that you can see for sign in and for sign up. If you have the username and password, you just log into that and then sign in. I would assume that you have an account already and for the ones who have not yet created an account, please watch my other videos also on this channel and the link I put it in the description below or I put a faster speed here for you to follow, okay? So just stay with me. So guys, here is the account for John Smith that I created before and down here you can see start an application and uh, apply to come to Canada. You just click in that and down on that bottom uh, you can see determine your eligibility and apply online. The first one is visitor visa, study and or work permit. The second one is express entry. Okay, and the last one is international experience, Canadian experience. All right, 
So that is uh, all of the three programs that you can use for IRCC um, uh, secure account. So now let's go to the IRCC portal in here, okay? You just click in here and here you can see apply online to visit Canada uh, using IRCC portal uh, if it is for visitor visa, uh, for super visa for parents and grandparents and the transit visa. So that is um, the only three that you can use for um, from the IRCC portal, okay? Uh, in here, you can see sign in and register. Sign in, it means that you have an account already with your username and the password. Or uh, register, it means that if you are new and then you can create a new one with the ISCC portal. Okay, so let's click in here. In the get invite code. Okay, in here. And then after that, you can put down your email address and then confirm your email address. Since we have done this step in the other video before, so I'm going to put the process in seven times speed. And uh, I also will put the link for the video of creating IRCC portal account in the description below. Please check it out later. So here is inside an account. Start an application to apply to visit, study or work in Canada. Uh, make a new refugee claim or continue a claim made to CBSA and also for the citizenship you can download uh, citizenship e-certificate all right here remember that is the account to use to apply to visit study or work in Canada okay so guys, that is all about the IRCC online account. So let's summary by clicking in each of the program in here. For example, Visitor Visa. Here, Visitor Visa, you can use two accounts, the IRCC Secure account and IRCC portal, okay? And regarding to Express Entry, you use only one account, that is IRCC Secure account. For Study Permit, you can use two accounts, like either uh, IRCC secure account or IRCC portal okay and for the work permit you use only one that is IRCC secure account and another applications like this okay. um, you can review and click on those programs to get the correct instructions for each of them okay so that's the end of the lesson today. If you think that my video is helpful, please consider subscribe my channel to receive the uh, notification for a new video. Thanks again and have a good day. Bye.